What's up everyone, back with more uh, single player campaign on Total uh, Age of Empires 4. William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance known as the harrying of the north. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother but he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. Okay, so now we're in 11.05, and we are starting to press through time. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army.
English approached Bayeux and saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. It's almost like a repeater going off. for the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. Yes, sir. West to Hala. That Shule Bay Otim. Yarwa, you are. What's that fit, eh? Gathery and they would do. Yaru to work. Each Tim, what's that fit, eh? Each a worker. Share last their fit, eh? Has them. Each a on your selly. That sure let me your take for that. Bury your words up. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Did you broke that? Careless hair. Pitch in the voodoo. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. Apuga, hey sir, look at your beauty ready, Frekes, Strabor, look at Mutha. That timbrin shall bail. Apuga, good flitch. Garwigan, yes. Ram Yaru, Garwigan, Asetas. 
With the power of battering rams, the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. Bayer's walls had failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayer, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. Strelbora! 
What am I missing? Yeah. 
as Bayer burned and the people fled in terror. King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. Bayer burned, King Henry pressed his advantage. Seizing key fortifications and buying the loyalty of powerful lords, Henry loosened his brother's grip over Normandy. At Tinchebray in 1106, brother would fight brother for final claim to their father's lands. Determined to claim Normandy and capture his brother, Duke Robert, King Henry besieged the castle at Tinchebray. But the direct assault on the formidable stone castle was failing. Unable to breach the towering walls, the king devised a new plan to capture his brother. Henry would force Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages of Martigny and Fresnes. To goad Robert out of his stronghold, Henry's men would burn the village to the ground. The village of Martigny was destroyed, but still Robert did not emerge to face Henry outside the castle. Henry would have to raise the stakes. Next, he targeted the village of Fren. Henry could buy reinforcements from nearby allies if he could procure the gold to pay them. Henry received word that Robert had sent for a fresh army to aid in defending his position at the castle. Henry had to eliminate these new forces before they could combine with the garrison at Tinchebray. Henry sent gold to his ally in Brittany, and in return, a detachment arrived to bolster his numbers. Henry 
Henry paid his ally in Tosny and received a regiment of soldiers. It is Sita for Actus. By eliminating Robert's incoming army, Henry had thwarted his brother's attempt at strengthening the castle's defences. Henry's ally in Bayer sent reinforcements in exchange for gold. Alright, let's move out. At the hands of Henry's army, the village of Fren was in ruins. Henry's provocations had paid off. Robert finally emerged from the castle to face his brother in open battle. Yes. 
I kind of cheesed that. King Henry's tactic of luring Robert into the open had worked. Henry captured his brother and Normandy was his. William the Conqueror's sons had resolved their long feud over Normandy, with King Henry wresting possession away from his brother. But the French King Louis VI would not accept Henry's heir as the future Duke of Normandy. Henry's fragile power would face its first test, an invasion by the 